Hi everybody, this is Maria from Vancouver, Canada and uh, for the people that do not know me, I am an expert in the beauty industry. I'm an esthetician, beauty therapist, I'm an examiner, author, and so I have a lot of knowledge to share with you. For the people that have been following me, thank you, thank you so much, because without you and your love and your comments and your support, I would not be here. So I wanna thank you. I have 170 subscribers. I am so pumped up. I am so excited. And uh, my next plateau is 300. And when I get there, I have a gift for you. Um, my tutorial today, it's about the neck, firming the neck, rejuvenation, firming up and slimming down the jawline. What a topic. So stay tuned and uh, let's get started. To know how to take care of the skin, you need to know what you're touching. So the skin, it's uh, on the outside and then underneath you have muscles and uh, below that you'll have your bones and all that. The skin, believe it or not, is the largest organ of the body. And But this specific area, the neck, the skin is slightly different than the face. It has a third of the amount of fat, or talking about sebaceous sebum, the oil, the natural oil, and a third of the, uh, the sweat glands and a lot less fibers. We're talking about the collagen and the elastic fibers. And because of this, this is the area that will age the, the, the fastest. So if we have less sebaceous glands, means the oils, less, less uh, moisture from the sweat, and less fibers to keep the firmness. Of course, this area is gonna be less firm, drier, uh, less uh, luster to this area, and guess what? And less firmness, and guess what? This is the area that most people, they neglect. They put the cream, the eye cream, and the ear cream, whatever, and then they forget the neck and the décolleté. And this is the area that you need to spend more time. And I will go through the video, step by step, what you need to do. However, as we get older, guess what? We lose, first of all, uh, bone mass, not only throughout the body, but also the skull, bones and bone mass muscle mass, that's why we need to exercise. We lose also fat. We're talking about the adipose tissue, the fat underneath uh, the skin. And, uh, and another thing that we lose is our body posture. As we get older, we lose our body posture and the alignment is lost. So the first thing that you need to do as you get older is to get into a routine a routine of uh, strength, uh, how to strengthen your muscles, which is uh, uh, you can go into uh, isotonic or isometric exercising. You can do yoga. So anything to bring back your stability, your flexibility, and your muscle mass. It's uh, incredible. As you get your body posture back, through exercising, yoga, and la la la, whatever. These are some of the benefits, and this is so incredible. Some of the benefits, you increase the level of energy. Who doesn't want that level of energy? Number two, lung capacity. Because you have good posture, your lungs have more space. You can bring more oxygen, and through that, you get better, um, uh, uh, clear mind. Next one, improve circulation. The blood is moving, you bring nutrients to your brain, to your cells, and to your skin. Um, also, your digestion, because you're not slouching, it's open, your digestive system, which takes most of the part of your tummy and just below the lungs, you can, the, the food can go through better, you can digest better, and you can also eliminate better, okay? you improve your core strength, your core, okay? So if your core, your center core is stronger, then you're not gonna get the sore back. Makes sense, doesn't it? You appear taller, you appear with an increased confidence. 
How good is that? So let's start exercising and uh, doing a little bit of yoga. So let's do a little bit of prevention here. We're, my, our focus here is the neck. Although we talked about body posture and everything, that it, posture comes throughout, so good alignment. Now let's be a little bit aware in this section, what not to do. Number one, and I'm gonna go through these steps quite quickly because of time uh, uh, frame here. First of all, your phone should never be on your side. You know you have your phone, you're holding like this, so bad for your cervical bones because we have little pads between uh, those bones and you're weakening them, number one. And also you're bunching up the skin here. That's not good. That's number one. Number two is your cellular that you're texting away and your head is down away. That's so bad for your neck, your skin, and you're stretching back here. So what you need to do is to do your texting up like this. Do your text really quickly, put the phone away. Do a little bit of social media, put it away. For the young generation, I'll tell you, by the time you're 40, you're gonna have major wrinkles here, wrinkles over here. You don't want that, okay? So control the amount of time you're doing your texting, and if you do that, have it up here. Number three is your computer. Have your computer at eye level. That is uh, not, not only important for, uh, um, for the neck, but also for your back, eye level. So bring your laptop, put some books on, underneath it. Do not do your work on your lap. I know it's called laptop, but do not do your work on your lap because you're, again, your neck is uh, uh, down. For students or people that read a lot, put your book or your textbook on a, um, uh, what's it called, uh, on a stand. Okay, and you put it there and you read on a stand. If you read in, in bed, which I don't think is a good idea, uh, there is little things that you can uh, put up so your book is up, straight up, eye level, that you don't look down. Because guess what? Especially people in universities, they have this hump back here. And that hump is because their head is always down. So become aware of that and get yourself a good stand. Uh, rough hand handling. I know there's a lot of people that uh, they will say put your uh, cream upwards, they put your cream downwards <laughs> towards the wrinkle. I will show you uh, a few steps on how I do it. So rough handling, be very careful. Perfumes. Do not put your perfume on your neck because perfume has alcohol, has some essential oils, uh, bergamot, on and on. And then when you go into the sun, especially if you go in the sun, the skin becomes photosensitive and you'll have, you'll get discoloration, dark discoloration in, on the neck. So put some perfume here, a dab here, a dab here, and maybe a dab back here, and that's it. That is the best way. Some individuals, they spray in the air and they walk into the perfume. That is good if you don't want too much perfume on you, but it's not good for your skin because some of the droplets will go on to the face, you go into the sun, and again, you get the different uh, little spots on your face. No, no. Uh, bad posture, you already, already know about that. Uh, bad posture, again, go forward, that's not good for the neck. We'll talk, we already talked about bad posture. Poor diet, no food, into the body, and I'll give you some pointers afterwards, then you'll get, have not good uh, uh, blood, and in turn, your skin is not nursed properly, and the neck also will not get nutrients. Um, not enough water. Water. Eight of these per day. And if you're a bigger person, 10. But doesn't mean that you're gonna drink all at once. What I usually do, I take one of these in the morning with a twist of lemon, drink it, put it down. So amazing because what it does, it cleans up and opens up your gastrointestinal and also so good for, for your elimination. And then throughout the day, the, the skin is the largest organ, but it's the last one to get all the, uh, the, the, water. Uh, the water. If you drink only one, guess what? Who gets uh, the, uh, the water? The brain, the lungs, the heart. The skin is gonna be last. So you're gonna be looking dehydrated. So yes, please, 
do drink more water. It brings uh, luster, it brings uh, um, um, vitality and firmness to the skin and also the neck. Smoking. Smoking, what it causes, it uh, constricts the, uh, uh, the uh, capillaries, the, the, the vessels. And guess what? If, you, if, the, if the blood does not move, the skin does not get the nutrients. So it, it inhibits proper flow of the blood. It impedes nutrients to the skin, not only here, but also here. Also, so, so you are robbed uh, from uh, the nutrients. Also, smoking the nicotine kills all the vitamin C. And the vitamin C is what keeps uh, the, um, uh, the fibers, the collagen and the, and the elastin nice and turgid, nice and firm. I have a picture here. I love pictures, okay? This is a healthy skin, young skin. This is the aging skin. You can see uh, the fibers breaking up here. Also, the, uh, the gel, uh, between the fibers here, we have a gel-like substance, okay? And it's called intercellular fluid and it's jelly-like. When you smoke, guess what? It, it thickens, it firms up, not in a good way. And so if it thickens, then the nutrients cannot move uh, throughout the cells. Oh my goodness, also, Sun beds, no. Um, intensive exposure to the sun. Now, a little bit of sun is good. Don't get me wrong, it's good, the vitamin D. But we're talking about intensive sun worshiping without the protection of a, um, um, products. Okay, because the UV light goes into the skin and it destroys all your fibers, thickens the, the gel-like substance called the intercellular fluid. So avoid overexposure. Use uh, natural, natural SPF products, 15 to uh, 30 SPF. Not more than that, because if you go higher, it's higher in chemicals. Those chemicals will cause uh, also uh, aging and sometimes even cancer. So please, do take care of your skin, not only here, but also here. So now we're gonna go into, because up to now we said no no's. So now we're gonna talk about steps of what to do. Okay, so up to now, I've been talking about what not to do, and now I'm gonna focus on some of the steps to bring back your natural shape of your neck and rejuvenation of your skin as when you were younger. Okay, so step number one, increase your intake of antioxidants in a natural state, not in a pill form like vitamin A and vitamin E, unless it is in the NRF2 activator that will natural help, naturally will help the body to stimulate its own antioxidants. So you're making antioxidants, you're not taking antioxidants. And uh, a book that I read uh, a while back uh, called The Deadly Antioxidants from uh, Dr. Sean Thibault says here, what should you do to protect yourself? And one of the things it says here, make, don't take antioxidants. Your own antioxidants, um, so you're taking something, NRF2, that will stimulate the antioxidants from within you. So this is incredible. I'm gonna read another passage in a second. So some of the foods that you should take to stimulate, now now foods, okay, that should stimulate your antioxidants are things like dark chocolate, mm -hmm, uh, pecans, blueberries, strawberries, so all your the berries artichokes, I don't like artichokes, but artichoke does, uh, goji berry, raspberry kale, red cabbage, beans, beets, beans, beets, uh, spinach, green tea, and etc. So those are some of the things that you should take uh, to stimulate your natural antioxidants in the body. Uh, about the NRF2, um, I know only one which I take it. I'll put a link below so you can uh, do your own research. And if you want more information from me, message me or leave me a message below. 
High intake of vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is destroyed by smoking, by smog, uh, by stress. So you need to intake, and again, not in a tablet format, okay? No, 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 but in a food format. So such as rose hip. So drink a tea, rose hip tea, uh, chilies, guava, yellow peppers, even the red ones, but the yellow peppers are higher. Black currant, thyme, parsley, kale, kiwi, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, lemons. When I drink, it's always lemon inside. So I have two benefits here, not only the water, but also the vitamin C and the lemon. Papaya, strawberry, oranges, etc. Water, remember the water. The collagen, remember I said about the collagen, that the collagen fibers and elastin fibers are uh, aging much faster and we have less on the neck. So um, collagen supplements, you can take those ones. Uh, sometimes they're really good. They come into a little like a, a candy or supplementation. Uh, but also to increase naturally kiwi, berries, all the kinds of berries, almonds. Almonds are very high in protein. Avocado, carrots, dark green vegetables, garlic, oysters. Oh, I don't like oysters, but oysters, pumpkin seeds. I eat a lot of pumpkin seeds, tomatoes. Those, the things that you don't like, don't eat, but eat more of the other stuff. For example, tomatoes are really bad for my joints, so I don't eat, oh, I do eat a little bit of tomatoes, but not too much. Okay, omegas. Omegas, uh, you can take omega in an omega format, okay? Um, fatty acids, uh, supplements are good, very good at uh, bedtime, but things that you should take is olive oil, uh, flaxseed, avocado, all kinds of nuts, salmon, uh, hemp seeds. I like to do uh, hemp seeds on my cereal. Grapeseed oil. I cook with grapeseed oil. Kale, spinach, dark green leafy greens, and vegetables. Green dark uh, vegetables are really high in omegas. Um, also, the different fish. Okay, so take to intake more fish if you're not a vegetarian. The next step, massaging your thyroid. I have uh, a video on that, so please look at it because it's really, really good uh, about massaging. Massaging your thyroid, which is down here. So there, I have a video, do it, because massaging the thyroid will keep your skin and your body young. Uh, while you're doing that, take a little bit of olive oil or any, um, uh, because olive oil is high in vitamin A and E, so natural, so you can then massage that air. So look at it, it's really, really good. And also it regenerates the new cells and provides relief to the old uh, cells, the older cells. So, enjoying up to now. I know, I know, my videos are always long, but they have so much information. And, and I do cut out some of the stuff, so, but most of the stuff that I'm telling you is really important. So while you are doing the, your uh, thyroid massage, uh, you can do different things also. Uh, 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 Pretissage, which I have a, uh, a video on how to apply the night cream. Please look at it because it's uh, incredible. Also long, but incredible. Uh, a lymph drainage also, and the, to go to the lymph nodes, and I have a video on that. But the products that you use, there is some old technology and new technology. The old technology, things like a retinol, a peptides, a vitamin C, a glycolic a creams, hyaluronic, those are all good stuff, but it's all like old technology. The new technology is the NRF2 creams. And uh, if you want a link, I have a link below. Do your research, NRF2. And uh, basically, uh, I do have mine, what I use. I use uh, True Science. Uh, they, have, uh, they have their little products. It's, there's a cream and the lotion, which I mix, mix them together, and I apply on the neck, and I do my taputment, my petrissage, whatever, my lymph drainage on the neck. NRF2 is the new technology. But 
we're also dealing with the muscles. And this is the last point that I want to mention. The isometric exercise of your neck muscles. But you don't want to do only your neck. You want to do the sides, the back, and all throughout the décolleté. So let's take a look. So this comes to my last point, and I, uh, this I think is the, the most uh, important point. All of them are important, but this is also really important. People are aware to exercise their body, uh, yoga and whatever they want to do, but they don't do exercise of the neck and face. I do have a video to exercise the face, but my main focus today is about the jawline, to slim down the jawline, firming the jawline and the neck. So let's look at the, the uh, muscles. Underneath the sheet of skin that we take care of, we have muscles. So the first muscle that I wanna talk about is this platysma. Okay, this platysma muscle uh, starts from here and it works itself all the way down. And so the, the muscle contraction that I want to do is called the isometric exercise. And I know that a lot of people, they do exercise, they do a lot of these and a lot of these and a uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh. but that is not good, in my opinion. Because what you're doing, my opinion, is that you, it's almost like a elastic band. You're doing it over and over and over. And what happens when you're doing the elastic band too much or even your underwear? It starts to lose its tonicity, the firmness, the snapback. And that's what you don't want to do for your skin. So this exercise I'm going to show you first is that you are going to do several steps. Number one, you're bringing the air in. All this exercise, air in. You visualize the muscle. Air in. You put your tongue on the roof of your mouth because you want to firm up this area here. And at the same time, we're doing uh, contraction and resistance. Okay, so I'm going to go sideways so you can see. So tongue in, breathe in, tongue up the roof, and at the same time, I'm contracting and resisting. And hold for 30 seconds. In. Very important that you hold it for 30 seconds and I do it a couple of times. The next one that I want to do is work on the sternocleidomastoid, which is this muscle right here. And you see a little piece here and it goes right underneath the platysma. And what I like to do is to stretch it, bring uh, the tongue upwards onto the palate, also do like a O, oh, not like O, oh, because if you do this, you're gonna get little wrinkles. Oh, open, oh, stretch, tongue, breathe in and hold. And release, on the other side. Tongue, hold, oh. Very good. The next one is to work in this front, push your hand backwards and your head forward. And by doing this exercise, you're working all here, all the obliques, okay? And also the platysma. Tongue in, oh. Side here, push your head this way, hand that way. Tongue, breathe in. Oh. The other side. Head that way, hand this way. Oh. Tongue up, breathe in. And when I'm doing this, I'm also visualizing the firmness on my neck, back. So I'm pushing my head backwards. And this is to work the, uh, the trapezius back here, goes all the way down your back 
and the neck here, the back of the neck called the splenis capitis. Okay. Tongue. Oh. You can do this exercise while you're watching TV. Okay, or let's say you want to take a break during the day. It takes only about four or five minutes to do all this. It's incredible. These are called isometric exercise. So you're basically tensing up and putting tension. Like even doing this, this exercise, is very good for your chest area. Now we're not talking about the chest, but let's put it in, in there. Okay, but let me give you some quick fixes. And uh, basically, you can do Botox. Uh, I will do a, a face exercise um, in the very near future. So you don't have to do Botox, but if you decide, you know what, I don't wanna do all this, it's too much work, that's fine. So you can do Botox, which they will freeze the, the muscle. Is that good to put toxins? Well, I, I'm not gonna say yay or nay, but for me, I will not do it. Uh, inject injectables like um, a hyaluronic acid. There's ones called uh, the Profilo um, that they inject um, hy hy hyaluronic into the skin. Collagen injection. So if you have this uh, uh, lebiofib, uh, lebi lebiofib, uh, fibio fold, <laughs> I mean problem here. But there's exercise for that. But they have collagen injection for that. No problem. Okay, uh, the marionette, so they can put a collagen injection in there. Uh, that is done all by doctors. Uh, IPL, uh, estheticians can do it. Uh, laser, radio frequency, uh, thread lift injection, which again is done by a doctor. They inject uh, things again by into the skin to firm it up. Uh, sutures, which are again uh, surgery, but they lift inside without cutting the skin. And also uh, cutting and lifting uh, skin surgery. So basically they cut up the skin and they pin it up and then they sew you up. That is basically giving uh, the control to somebody else. Why don't I take the control and doing the natural way? Between six to eight weeks, you're start, gonna start seeing results. Uh, your, your body, you're taking control of your body and your well-being. Um, and yeah, it will take some commitment, of course, but you can do it while you're watching TV, while you're reading the book, taking control of your life. It will give you confidence, composure, sureness, and poise. Isn't that great? So it is up to you. And uh, you know what? I love doing these videos. Give me thumbs up, share this with others. Remember to, to uh, press the little bell so when I'm on, uh, you're there with me. And uh, this is Maria from Vancouver, Canada, and I will talk with you soon.